Facts Verse presents Times People Tried Extreme Things and Nailed It. Number 1. Climbing an Ice Wall During Michigan Ice Fest, ice climbers from all around the world attempt to climb one of the most dangerous pieces of ice in the world. The ice walls created when natural waterfalls leak from the porous rock and then freeze. Only the bravest and most skilled climbers are willing to even attempt this feat. The man in this photo has climbed up halfway. If you look at the trees to the left, it'll give you an idea of how high off the ground he's already climbed. It's an example of a person taking climbing to the extreme. The man in this photo isn't the only one to achieve this goal. Each year they have a Michigan Ice Fest, and each year plenty of ice climbers show up for the extreme climb. Most of the people who attempt this say they do it for the love of the climb. Number 2. Miracle Man This is one of the times people tried extreme things and nailed it. Peng Shulin is also known as the Miracle Man. In 1995, his body was cut in half by a lorry. Just the fact that he lived was considered to be a medical miracle. It took a team of 20 doctors to save the man's life. In order to seal up his torso after he was cut in two, his skin was grafted from his head. Unfortunately, this still left him legless, and he was only 2 feet 6 inches tall. He was bedridden for years, and there was little hope that he would ever be able to walk again. Luckily, doctors at the China Rehabilitation Research Center in Beijing created a plan to get the man walking again. They created an egg cup casing to hold his body, and they attached two bionic legs to that. After much practice, he was able to walk on his own on specially made legs. This man is very brave and strong to have pulled off something like that. Number 3. Holy Flexibility Some people are more flexible than others. Some people can touch the top of their head with their feet, and others struggle to bend down to pick up a dirty sock from the floor. Uh, I would fall into that latter category. Anyway, the woman in this photo, she takes flexibility to a whole new level. She's able to bend her body in half, go under her own legs, and she can look at her own butt. This is a very difficult feat something most people would never be able to do in their lives. Most women probably wish they could do this. I mean, rather than asking somebody if their butt looks big in these jeans, they can just look for themselves. Number 4. The Standing Coins It can be difficult to get a coin to stand on its side. You have to hold the coin in just the right way, put it on the table, and hope it stands up. The girls in this picture clearly had a lot of time on their hands. They took hundreds of coins and stood them all up on their sides on a table. This is not as easy as you might think. It takes just one coin to fall on its side to make the rest go down. Also, they had to be very careful when touching the table. The final product took a very long time and a lot of patience. At least they had a photo to prove it actually happened. To show off their achievement, they posted this photo on social media where it got hundreds of likes and even a few shares. Good job, girls! It may have been a huge waste of time, but it made for a great picture. Number 5. He's a true crowd surfer Many people who go to concerts dream about crowd surfing from the back of the arena all the way to the stage. Well, the man in this photo didn't let the fact that he was in a wheelchair stop him from achieving his dream. He managed to crowd surf while still sitting in the wheelchair. Judging by the look on the crowd's face, they had no problem helping this man get to the stage, wheelchair and all. He is living proof that regardless of a disability, you can achieve your dreams if you try. Number 6. Tiny Toys There are many people who have some type of toy for decoration on their vehicle. Some have a stuffed animal in their back window. Others stick a bobblehead cat to their dashboard to watch the head dance while driving. The person who owned this car took tiny toys to the extreme. There is not a single place on this car that's not covered with some sort of toy. There are thousands of figurines stuck all over this car, except for the headlights and the windshield, of course. This must be so that the car can still be legally driven. It must have taken an awful long time and a lot of patience to stick this many toys to the surface of the car. The driver even has a donation bucket stuck to the front of the car 
so people on the street can enjoy looking at the car and leave a dollar or two. The car's owner uses the donations to buy and add more toys to the car. Kind of makes you wonder what kind of glue is used to get the toys to stick, since they all seem to be stuck on really well. But whether or not the car can drive on the highway without losing any toys, that is unknown. Number 7. Heavy Hauling Who needs a truck to haul supplies when you have a cargo bike? The man riding this bike had to haul over 50 boxes. Using his cargo bike and some rope, he was able to stack all of his boxes up on his bike, and then he rode them to his destination. The two men behind him felt proud that they were using a pull trailer to transport one barrel. It wasn't until they turned the corner and saw this man that they realized that what they were doing wasn't really all that impressive at all. It must have taken some serious time, patience, and balance, along with a little bit of strength to get the packages to their destination. Number 8. The Headless Man Most people love the beach. However, after a few hours on the beach, they tend to get bored. These men apparently were really bored, so they decided to cut their friend's head off. Well, since that would be gruesome, and I'm pretty sure that's illegal, they did decide to do the next best thing. They made it look like they had cut their friends off. One of the men buried himself in the ground all the way to his neck so that you could only see his head. The other man buried his head in the sand so it looked as though he was headless. When you put the two together, it looks as though it's one person and his head has been removed from his body. This must have taken a really long time, judging by the sunburn on one guy's face. Man, some people will do just about anything for a fun picture. Number 9. Extreme Cycling People like to go biking for many reasons. Some go biking because it's a great form of exercise. Others like to bike to enjoy the beautiful scenery along the way. These men took their love of biking to a dangerous level. Sure, the view is spectacular, however, it would take just one wrong turn or one pebble in the road to send these men plummeting down the side of a mountain onto the sharp, rocky shore below. Some people will do just about anything for an adrenaline rush. At least they had the sense to wear helmets. However, if they were to go over the edge of the cliff, the chances of a helmet saving their lives are probably not all that great. Number 10. That's using your head. There are plenty of martial artists who enjoy breaking things with their heads in front of an audience. The audience loves it for, well, a couple of reasons. Some love it because they love seeing the impossible. Others love it because they're almost hoping the person is going to be injured. Well, the woman in this picture looks as though she put her head through this storage container. Unfortunately, it's difficult to tell whether or not the photo is accurate. If you look at the storage container in the back, it looks as though there were some sort of accident. Based on her side and the way that she's dressed, it's highly unlikely that she is the one who put that huge dent in the storage container. The more likely scenario is that she was walking by, saw the dent, and thought it would be a great photo opportunity. Number 11. Is he crazy? It's not strange for Arabs to have dangerous exotic animals as pets. On Google, you'll see Arabs in town with lions and tigers in their cars. Most of these people are very careful with these animals and they have them trained very well. This man is either the bravest man in the world or he is the greatest animal trainer in the world. He has his own lion and he enjoys riding it. Since it doesn't take much to spook a lion, it's shocking that this man has a smile on his face. Number 12. Bridge Work Anyone who repairs bridges for a living has a very dangerous job. Many bridges that need to be repaired are high off the ground. However, the Bay Bridge is one of the highest. The man in this photo is hundreds of feet from the top of the bridge and even further up from the surface of the water. Judging by the way that he's standing, he doesn't look too scared by his predicament. He seems to be leaning back, relaxing, taking in the amazing scenery. Most people in this situation would be panicking and holding on for dear life. You can only hope that this man gets paid a lot of money for the work that he does, because he certainly deserves it. Subscribe for more!